Hi, my name is Claire Bainsley and I'm a registered nutritionist. Now what does that mean? I've registered with the Association for Nutrition, which means that I've done a postgraduate or an undergraduate degree in an accredited course by the Association for Nutrition. That means that if you talk to a registered nutritionist like me, you can be sure that you're going to be getting the most up-to-date and evidence-based advice. And this is really important because the, the word nutritionist is not a protected title like the word dietitian. Dietitians are state registered and they are qualified to treat clinical, medical, nutritional issues. Now a nutritionist can tell someone how to eat healthily and help support a general healthy diet, but they shouldn't be treating clinical diseases. Now a nutritionist can call themselves a nutritionist whether they've done a weekend course or whether they've done a three or four year degree or PhD for example, but only a registered nutritionist can call themselves registered with the Association for Nutrition if they've done an accredited course. So it's really important to check whether the nutritionist that you're seeing is a registered or associate nutritionist. If they are, that means they've registered with the Association for Nutrition. So what does that mean for me? I mainly work with food manufacturers and what I do is I help them to create products. I set nutritional targets for example, I might help them set reformulation targets in line with some of the government's recommendations on salt or sugar reduction for example. I also help them with their product labelling and their communications and advertising of the products that they create. Now this is really important to get right because it's not just about ensuring that the product is good for us, but it's also about ensuring that the claims that the product makes are not misleading to the public uh, and are not dangerous. I have a lot of experience working in industry and working for the government at the Food Standards Agency. So I'm really experienced in the legislation, in the marketing, the kind of claims that a product can make, and it's really important when you talk to an industry nutritionist or a food manufacturing nutritionist that they understand the legislation, and this only really comes from experience. That legislation is intended to protect the public, to protect them from being misled, but also to ensure that all the food safety legislation is being followed and that the products are adequately labelled with the nutritional criteria on the packaging and also that the claims are legal and not misleading. So it's very important if you're looking to produce a new product or if you're buying a product that you ensure that the brand has used a registered nutritionist who has the right kind of experience in this sort of legislation. Otherwise, you really might end up being misled. I've seen lots of product packaging with claims that are not approved by the European Food Safety Authority. And this is really bad because the consumer gets misled. They think that a product is healthy when it might not be. Um, and really, they, they're not able to make an informed decision. So. I really would urge all food manufacturers to only use registered nutritionists with the appropriate experience in regulation and legislation. So really do check the Association for Nutrition Register before you choose to work with a nutritionist. So I'm doing this short video to promote a petition that three wonderful dietitians have created to protect the title of registered nutritionist. We need to protect this title to ensure that fair practice, appropriate practice and qualified individuals can call themselves registered nutritionists and to differentiate ourselves from people who might have done a very quick course online and really not got the appropriate experience to advise either the public or food manufacturers in nutrition. I'm going to put down below a link to the petition. Please do sign it. We're so close to the 10,000 signatures that we need to get a government response to our petition. So really do sign away. We've got over 8,000 signatures now and we're really, really close. I would love it if you could just sign it if you're based in the UK and loop in me on Twitter or uh, Facebook, for example, and loop in at Fight the Fads 
who are on Twitter, they're on Instagram, they're on Facebook for example. So do let us know when you've signed and please do share across your social media channels so we can protect the title Registered Nutritionist.